Okay, Marlena. You must be getting ready to do some cooking if I'm making <laughs> the sun visor. Well, the sun visor has done an amazing job. I mean, the coffee. Yes. And the soup. Good. It was hot. Both did good, but I think the visor has met its match. This is poster board covered in aluminum foil, held together with a uh, athletic shoelace and some clothespins. Athletic shoelace. I washed this one. <laughs> <laughs> I have one over there that I didn't, but yeah, I did. Yeah. I washed that one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these up and uh, we've got a nice little bit of sun right now. It is a little overcast, but we're going to try this anyway. Okay. And while we go swimming, let these cook. And our test subject today is <laughs> going to be some corn. So, let's get <laughs> shucking. Okay. Okay. What is it? Well, like I said, it's just poster board covered in foil. And if this works as well as I've heard that it does, I'll be doing a video on how to make these. But you can see it just kind of... Uh, what my, the numbers? You'll see that in why how to make these. Okay. <laughs> but essentially, these are... It's just shoelaces tied these panels onto a little square in the bottom. And what we have here is I'll get the sun visor set up, get this one set over there. And um, we have our cooking racks that are going to go in the bottom of sure. our oven bags to hold our pans off of the bottom. And then we're going to seal those so this works once again like a uh, greenhouse effect. Yes. And notice that our pans are black. Yes. So that they will... And the lids are black. Yeah. So they will... Here, go on and open this one. Sure. So they will uh, retain as much or, or attract as much heat as possible. And so we'll see how this goes. We're going to put our corn, which has now been shucked, and uh, put that in our oven bag. We'll put our thermometer. And I'll do that in a second. Hang on, and once we get it, it'll be easier once we get it over okay. there, probably. Anyway, just for demonstration purposes here, put our thermometers in there, and we'll let that be the judge. We're okay. going to get all of this tied down as tight as airtight as we can, but we still need sure. to leave some room for it to vent. Sure. Okay. We'll get all them right. set them up and see how it goes. Okay. It's 12:40. Okay. We're in no hurry. This is actually going to be for supper. We now have our corn on to cook, and. Uh, We've got it set in a nice, sunny locale, and uh, we will go over and take a look and show you that we actually do have these set out there. Um, I did do the thermometers. Inside yeah, the I did do a little test on the thermometers at home, but it had been really overcast when we were at home, and so it's kind of hard to see. And the highest I could get them because the clouds kept coming over was like 250. But they did seem to calibrate because I was really kind of curious after that soup incident with, yes. you know, <laughs> wanted to make sure. And uh, I actually found another oven thermometer at home. And so we have three and they all do register essentially the same. So I'm going to see if I can show you that, uh, zoom in on that. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's not quite up to 150 yet. It's about 120. Our... Copenhagen is right at 150 already so um, we'll see how that does they haven't been out here no we just I mean, got them set literally just just set them up so we'll see how this does and um, like I said we've got all afternoon to let those yes. cook uh, okay this is right at an hour so let's check and see we are at uh, about 225 on the sun visor and see if I can move that and we can see uh, approximately 225 on the Copenhagen okay after adjusting the shields we have gotten up to 250 on the Copenhagen 
and we are at 225 on the sun visor so right now the Copenhagen is really about 25 degrees hotter but in the last few minutes we've had a lot of wind come up and that's when the sun visor has really kind of shown that uh, the Copenhagen has you can see Copenhagen has a huge advantage here yes uh, with that but um, finally we've been cooking it right at 250 I don't know that it's been about two hours so the wind just started recently yes. we're gonna get these over to the table check and see if our corn's done okay I know this isn't scientific because we have different size pots etc and it was about halfway through whenever I tried to go in and plug that that's where I took the, the handle off so they'd fit yes. uh, if I needed to invert it or whatever. So it's not exactly scientific, I get it, but the idea is does it cook? Does it do the job it's supposed to? And without a... There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Hey, that looks done. It sure does. On both of them, it looks done. Uh, so bottom line is, yes, they will cook. Yes. And the real question then is, if, with the wind, uh, obviously the Coke, Copenhagen yes. had a huge advantage. It did get a little bit hotter, so I think it probably cooked a yes. little bit faster. But um, so far as ease, Abby, so far as ease, Sun Visor has it. Okay, now the moment of truth. That is hot. It is hot. But it is done. <laughs> It is very done. Both cookers worked. Like I said, with the wind, um, I'm thinking the Copenhagen, but Probably. both of them worked, both of them cooked, and now we're going to eat. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired, Tired Teachers. teachers.